Hi, welcome to Engage in New York, Module 4, Lesson 27. Read the objective while I read it aloud. I can solve problems involving fraction division. So, our big idea here in this lesson is to solve word problems using fraction division. So, we're going to be using tape diagrams, breaking things up to show the fractions. But before we get started, normally in class, I would do an oral counting uh, exercise, but we're going to jump right into a review of lesson 25. And then down below that is a lesson, a, a review of class, lesson 26. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see the problems here on the screen. We have three divide into halves. How many halves would you have? Then one divide into thirds. How many thirds would you have? So I want you to go ahead and complete this exercise and then come back to check your work. All right, how did you do? So this becomes three times two because this, this division sign inverts and becomes uh, multiplication. You're multiplying by the inverse operation. And then you're multiplying by the reciprocal of one half, which is two. So we have six, 12, eight, 36, 3, 6, 36, 64, 21, 4, 25, 2. All right, so this is a, re uh, a review of lesson 25. This right here is a review of lesson 26. So divide unit fractions by a whole number. So now you have halves, a half that's divided into two. Okay, that's different than what we were doing up here. This was divide whole numbers by unit fractions. This is divide a unit fraction by a whole number. So we're, we're starting with a fraction and we're dividing it up. So go ahead and, and um, attempt this little fluency practice and then come back to check your answers. Okay, how did you do? Did you one half times one half is one fourth? 1 14th, 1 12th, 1 35th, 1 6th, 1 6th, 1 27th, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 9th, 1 25th, 1 48th. All right. That is going to do it for our fluency practice, our part one of this lesson. You are going to meet me back here for our concept development slash problem set. So we are jumping right into our problem set. So you need to have your problem set all ready to go as we start this next lesson. You need to have this ready to go for the next lesson. Meet me back.